Hey guys, James here. Um, it's been a while since I've recorded. I had uh, thought about not recording at all anymore um, because of the new YouTube monetization policy. Um, I didn't really like that, but uh, I decided I'm going to. So um, Right now, as you can see, this is not the uh, usual EU4. Um, Vanilla or M&T, which you usually see me play. This is uh, the Imperium Universalis mod. And I am going to play as Rome in honor of the possibility that at PDXCon we might be getting Rome 2. EU, EU Rome 2, possibly. Johan's hints have not been helpful much. <laughs> um... If you've been paying attention to that. But anyway, so this mod is a complete, as you can see, a uh, complete conversion of EU4. <clears throat> Basically, you have Europe, Northern Africa, got the Middle East, you have Central Asia, and you have India, China, and yeah. That's it. So, and then it goes back to here. So, we are going to play as Rome, just because, why not? I was thinking about playing as Macedonia, or either Athens or Sparta, but I'm going to go as Rome, and we're going to see what we do. Uh, we're going to go ahead and play in normal mode. <clears throat> Wait for this to load. Okay, so nothing there, nothing there, nothing there, and nothing there. Okay, let's take a look at the missions we have. Okay, so we do have a Roman... Alright, we do have a, an actual Roman mission tree. Um, let's go to... Let's take a look at our ideas real quick. <clears throat> Manpower recovery, reinforced speed... And then administrative efficiency, imperial aspirations, unjustified demands, aggressive expansion, yearly harmony. I don't know what that is. We'll have to look. Um, construction costs, siege ability, uh, merchant, uh, colonist, and culture conversion. So that'll be helpful. Um, legionaries. So infantry combat ability and fort maintenance. All right. So. Let's go to our court. Uh, we have, I don't know if Rex Rome is actually part of his name. We're just gonna go Servius Tullius. Uh, he's a 444, he's a bold fighter, and he's an entrepreneur. He should have two more coming soon. Um. So right now we are a despotic monarchy, okay. We have Hegemonic War, Cassis Bele on Pentry, Latium, a bunch of others, Border Conquest. Okay, let's go ahead and. Where's Cap. Cap is it Capua? Capua? Capua, I believe is how it said. I don't even know where it's at. Where are you? Aha, there you go. Uh, let's go back to us. Oops. I haven't played EU in a while. Sabini? Sabini? Or Sabin? Sabin? I don't know. I have to think. Latin's fairly... <laughs> Latin should be easy to, uh... Oh my god. Um... Speak for an English person. Well, not easy, but, uh... Not too difficult. Um, just babbling now. Sorry, guys. Uh, let's go ahead and do capital. <clears throat> Economy-wise, so far, 
Um, all right, one point five five. Not bad. Okay. Collecting in the Western Mediterranean, in the Northern Mediterranean. So this first episode, we are probably we're barely gonna unpause. Probably, um, I we're gonna go through a little bit of uh, what happens in this. So, or what this mod does. I probably should have looked a little bit better, a little more at uh, at it before I started, but we'll all learn this together. Okay, census of 195. I sure. Okay. Tribal population has increased by nothing. Okay. So yeah, we obviously haven't changed anything. Abolish slavery, slavery, ban debt slavery, coronation of Servius Tullius. Splendor, splendor. Oh, wow, okay. All right. I didn't know they had this integrated at all. Okay. Now, let's take a look here. What is their upper class population, commoner population, and tribal population? Okay, so they have population here. Um. Okay. Represents aristocrats, clergy, wealthy citizens... Go, grows over time. Small chance that commoner population gets promoted to upper class. Chance to increase by prosperity, temple buildings, market buildings, government buildings. Merchants, craftsmen, and other citizens. And rural population. Okay. De consent, consentes. So we... Obviously. Obviously Rome makes pottery. Okay, um, let's go back to here. Um, ramps for our ships. Okay. Um, so we can actually, we can boost stability here, unlike in M&T. All right, harmony. High harmony, okay. Low harmony, oh yeah, okay. Yeah, we want to, we want to get high harmony. Hellenic rights, okay. Idea cost. All right, military. Supply depots. I think that's basically the same as vanilla. Recruit an admiral. Hmm. Okay, so we have the patricians and the pontif pontifices. So, like, priests, basically. Yeah. And. Aristocrats. Ask for money. Point advisor. Okay. Point court priest. Okay. Last thing. Well, actually, this is not the last thing, but expansion focus. Huh. Okay. I don't know. Um, we're gonna look at the trade map mode real quick. <clears throat> okay, so we've got Central Mediterranean, this is Italia. Northern Mediterranean, Ionian Sea, Adriatic Sea, Southern Mediterranean, Aegean, obviously, Propontis, Thessalia, Eastern Mediterranean, Nile, 
Western Mediterranean. Okay, that's all I really had to worry about. So right now, we have a merchant in the Northern Mediterranean. which sends to the central Mediterranean. Okay, so this is the node we need to push into, at least if we want to really uh, dominate trade. Although this one would be... Looks like the Aegean's good too. Okay. All right. Okay, we are actually going to unpause. Oh, I keep trying to use WASD to move the map around. It's one thing I don't like about EU. Okay, speed it up a little. Alliance offer from Marcy. Yeah, sure. Why not? So where are my rivals? Let's take a look. Diplomatic here. Oh, opinion is what I wanted, I think. No. Who are my rivals? My rivals are La Latium, Latium, whatever, and Capua. Capua. Excuse me, guys, I couldn't get the mic off in time. The Pottery of... Well known for their skills to manufacture pottery. I don't really like how bright this background is. Uh, the unique production style and art is desired by many wealthy Roman men and women, but not only our people are interested in our pottery, many merchants and nobles from abroad trade for them. Such an art has to stay, 10 prestige, or 2.8 ducats. Uh, yeah. We're taking the prestige. <clears throat> Ugh. Jeez. All right, so I'm going to add two Roman hoplites. hoplites. Oh, this is going to be different. Okay. Uh, actually, shoot. Let's get you all together. I want to see... Actually, it's going to be easier if we go here. Mediterranean merchant ship, okay. Italic cargo ship. A galley and a heavy ship. Bireme, trireme, quadrine, quincareme. Unireme, hemolia, trihemolia, libernia. Okay, um, so we are going to, again, s split these, new unit, uh, select this unit, do I, sure, Marcus Flavius Arvina, holy cow, he's quite the, uh, so we're going to protect our trade in the northern Mediterranean. Let's see what that does to our um, income here, how much he collects. <clears throat> 0 0.41 now. It's, it's a pretty good increase. I would like to uh, start conquering, like, immediately. Have 100 heavy ships? Oh my god.
income of 50 and a treasury of 2,500 gold? Oh my lord. Alright, so who are you allied with? Sabini and Sakani. Ooh, okay. You're allied. Is there anyone who's not allied with anyone? That I can actually attack? Probably the one that I'm allied with. Yep. Son of a gun. Alright. I'm Rome, though. I should be able to kick... Kick you-know-what, right? That was a completely sarcastic uh, response, so please don't take me serious. Alright. Sabini is this one. Where's the other one? Sakani. Oh! Shoot, we might be able to take that. Let's uh, open up the ledger here. Armies. Oh my god. They've got 5,000. Yeah, they have a lot more than me. Holy cow. Alright. Well, we might not go to war right away. Unless. Okay, they're allied with Pisa. And Corsica. Corsica is not going to be able to come to your defense that well. Oops. I'm looking at Sardinia. For Corsica. Alright. The navies could get into it. Let's see, what if I were to build a couple more of these? Okay. Gain 118 a month. It's not bad. Can invite a scholar. What? What is this? Must be this thing. Lose a hundred admin. Ugh. Rome will. Doctrines of Northern Rights. Hellenic Rights. Morale of Armies. Yeah. Okay. Huh, okay, that's interesting. Uh, disloyal States, yeah. Point a court priest, they gain influence but no loyalty. Well, what the world? Ask for money, appoint advisor. Have a craftsman, have a training camp. Owns Tibur. Okay. Yeah, this is. Latium area, conquest of Latium. Let's see what we can build here. Nothing? Okay, so we need to start saving up money. Small marketplace, small shipyard, army camp, forum, embassy, blah blah blah, craftsman. Admin tech four, okay. Let's boost this up to speed five. Citadel, I mean we could, but gravel roads. Yeah, that's that's really what I need to do right away build roads here in these two. Um, if 
be nice to go to war with these guys. Oops. Why did I pause? Great Earthquake in Erna. Okay. Army Magnus is only point five two. So what are you costing me? 0.13 and 0.13. No, no, yeah, I don't want to do that. Let's take a look here. Increase by zero. Okay. So I can basically get rid of that. Let's look here what I have. What can I do? Stability at least one. Band debt slavery. Coronation. Eh. Syncretic religion. Bid human sacrifices, okay. Written law. Oh, one thing I didn't look at. Let's take a look at institutions. Because I'm sure it's. Yep. Okay. Writing system. Okay. Advanced metallurgy. Appears in 240. Okay. These are a ways off. Shock damage, okay. How will this appear? Metallic trade good, copper, iron, lead, tin, silver, or gold. Okay. Which would be none of ours. Um, we'll pause it again. Uh, what was I going to look at? Um, did I want to keep looking here? Aha, this here. I don't, I don't really know what I'm supposed to do with these. Like, let's see. This should take away. So that should knock us down to five here. Yeah. Merchants. Sure. Does it also give us anything like... See, it shows expansion-focused trade. Is that going to, like have more random little events going on or is it just is it just the policy I don't know anyway Florentia Florence <coughs> I have a free merchant. Three percent there, four percent there, zero there, nothing there. Let's collect from trade, see what this boosts us. So point two three, okay. See if it changes after the month. Point two six. Not not great, but not terrible. Okay, let's actually go back here real quick. So we've got the river estuary. Wait, 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 wait. <laughs> Hold on a second. Okay, no. I was like, there's a river here named River. No, uh, I don't know what river that river that is. Great feast. Prestige and national unrest. Not bad. 
So we need to conquer. What is it? Vetna? Or Vina? Vena? Vina? Marriage with a noble's daughter. A powerful noble family offered us a marriage with their daughter. This would be a good chance to increase our reputation within the nobles in our kingdom. Accept the offer? Okay. She's not great, but. Belch. Felsna. No. The theory. Okay. And what's the other one? Eritim. Oh, there it is. Holy cow, all these weird events are popping up now. There's currently too much money in circulation. In circulation. Merchants and artisans raise their prices every week because of the this high amount of coin. All these for the noise, guys. My mic fell. Okay. Amount of coin in Rome. Too bad. Lose some ducats, lose some inflation. Lose government organization. What is our inflation at? Our inflation is at zero. Now it's at two. I'm tempted to see what I can get for a general. I got a really good admiral. Not as great of a general. But, uh, yeah, we're going to have to get rid of him. That Admiral is amazing, though. Who was it that was allied with Corsica? This guy. I could take this guy. I think I could take him. Let's add... Let's add two more regiments here. Get up to, I think it... Our force limit's six? No, our force limit's seven. Let's get up to there. Then we're going to declare war on this guy. But, that is going to be in the next episode. So, thank you guys for watching. Um, yeah. Let's, uh, this is actually kind of fun. Um, I'm looking to start maybe eventually a Stellaris and possibly a Hearts of Iron. Um, let's play as long with maybe some City Skylines and yeah. So, um, and once the new, uh, Mew and Taxes, uh, 2.5 version comes out after PDXCon, I will, uh, I will definitely be playing that again. Um, but yeah, so let's uh, keep playing this and get hyped for uh, the possibility, the guarantee of a new Paradox game, the possibility of a Rome 2 game. So thank you guys for watching, and I'll see you in the next one.